Fisker pair rendered. Looks like a futuristic Fiat multiplay. The race for electric car supremacy has started. The future for electric cars is now. We all know that this market leader is none other than Elon Musk's Tesla. So this year, Musk launches all new electric vehicle, the Tesla Model Y, an SUV, coming in a small, practical, and attractive package. But another company slowly attracting the attention of the customers, that being Fisker. And to challenge the almighty Tesla this year, they release the Fisker Ocean. Now Fisker has rendered its pair. So what does it look like? And are there any specifications that are changed in the model? Let's try to find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Zen. Today we are talking about the futuristic Fisker pair and what it's going to look like. Are you guys ready to know? Without delaying any further, let's get started. And please make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new updates from our channel. The EV market is continuing to expand because the 2020s unfold with prospects for substantial growth within the years to come back. The EV market had a price of roughly $171 billion in 2020, and it's projected to surpass $725 billion by the year of 2026. With the electric car world broadening its reach, many companies are becoming in on the action, including up-and-coming brands like Lucid and Fisker. Fisker Inc. was founded in October 2016 with five proposed EVs within the works, including the big ocean SUV, which is launching in 2023. Notably, Fisker Inc. succeeded Fisker Automotive, which produced the Karma Hybrid Sports Sedan in the early 2010s. This original brand went defunct in 2014. One vehicle that Fisker Inc. is functioning on is the Pair, a tiny low electric SUV with plans to launch in about two years. The entry-level model of the Fisker Pair has an estimated tag of $30,000, so this ride might be successful with electric automobile buyers on a budget. Fisker really needs the Ocean Electric SUV to achieve success, and therefore the prospect of its success really seems to polarize opinions nowadays. But if the Ocean does deliver and hits a sweet spot with buyers, then Fisker's going to be able to continue work on its other two projects, the dramatic four-door convertible sports car, the Ronin, and also the firm's affordable model, the $29,900 pair. The latter's been teased several times, giving us a fairly good idea of what it could seem like in production guise, especially since recent Fisker teasers are blurring the lines between concept and production vehicles, so you actually don't know what might change for production and what's going to stay identical. When the media asked Heinrich Fisker last month whether the pair was a hatchback or crossover, he said it had been neither. He views this vehicle as having a replacement sort of body style. He also noted that it won't have a typical hatchback opening within the rear because the company has devised a novel, proprietary solution that enables the trunk to be open in tight spaces. But what's going to the assembly version of the pair if it ever actually becomes a series model? Before we let you know that, please subscribe to our channel if you've not already done so. Well, let's tell you that the good blokes from Top Electric SUV decided to provide rendering to a trial, and it actually looks pretty credible, if a touch strange looking. That's not to say the rendering's bad, because it isn't, but the vehicle it portrays is extremely unusual. It frankly appears like a reimagining of the Fiat's multiplay, especially with the form of the A pillar, the short hood, and therefore the tall upright greenhouse. However, it does have far bigger wheels in regard to the remainder of the body, and although Heinrich Fischer said this can be a sort of a crossover, we actually can't see that during this rendering. Not much is thought yet about the pair when it involves its specifications. However, we do know that the pair is ready to be a smaller and cheaper rendition of the Fisker Ocean, an oversized SUV that the brand aims to wake in market sometime in 2023 or possibly the very end of 2022. Car and driver expect the pair to supply around 250 miles per charge, assuming that the pair follows the styling of its larger sibling to be. In general, the specs of the 2024 pair are speculative at the best. As mentioned earlier, the bottom trim of the pair will cost about $30,000 before any federal tax rebates. If the pair follows the ocean and comprises the identical variants, car and driver predicts there will be an ultra trim because the next level up with a starting MSRP of around $40,000, with a third extreme trim potentially costing $55,000, still as one variant with the identical estimated tag. Again, this can be speculative, but if the Ocean may be a good measure, then the pair should have the same trim list, albeit with lower costs, with the Ocean having a starting MSRP of around $39,000 and its highest extreme in one variant ranging around $70,500 each. Believe it or not, you'll be able to already reserve the pair today for $250. Bucks. 
The automaker says that the sales will begin in 2024. We are wanting to learn more about the Fisker Payer, and we would expect the brand to announce more details later in 2022 or sometime within the first half of 2023. Once more details and specs are announced, we'll provide you with a more detailed examination of the 2024 Fisker Payer. Despite its affordable pricing, we hope the Payer will offer some awesome tech and fit a replacement EV of the mid-2020s, but like much regarding the Payer, only time will tell. Now let's talk about how do Fisker's electric cars compare to their competitors. Fisker may be a new player within the game, which implies there's no chronicle in terms of reliability. When you examine the performance specs of Fisker's electric vehicles, they seem to carry their own. But with little to travel off, most consumers are left wondering, how do Fisker's EVs compare to its biggest competitors? When trying to find an electric vehicle, practice range is usually one of the four most important factors. Having a car with fast charging capabilities is vital for drivers searching for speed and convenience. Drivers who commute long distances daily aren't visiting to be pleased with an occasional golf range EV that needs charging every 100 miles. But even on long range models, you furthermore might consider charging time, how long it takes the vehicle's battery to charge fully. In terms of golf range, Fisker's SUV stacks up pretty much. Although it should not top Tesla's models, they rack between 430 miles on the long range Model S to 1,000 on the Roadster, the Ocean achieves around 350 miles on one charge for the upper three trim levels. Reliability ratings for Fisker have yet to be released because the Ocean doesn't start production until late 2022. However, comparing apples to apples within the EV market is based totally on driver preference and priorities. If you're concerned about sustainability, performance, and range, the Fisker Ocean is maybe one of the highest contenders, with over 240 miles on one charge and an acceleration rate that takes you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in but 4 seconds. Plus, Fisker's first release, the Ocean, is a wholly sustainable vehicle. It uses plastic from ocean debris, scraps from the tire manufacturing process, and a solar roof to get power. Within, recycled plastic bottles and t-shirts were want to produce luxurious interior features, but you'd never comprehend that. If environmental sustainability could be a priority for you, it might only be fitting to drive an Ocean. However, you're searching for affordability, something smaller just like the Nissan Leaf or the Hyundai Kona Electric may be better suited, with prices under $35,000. Although Fisker doesn't have gas-powered vehicles to match their EVs, let's try to see how Fisker's electric vehicles rank in three areas compared to their competitors. The charging time, performance, and overall affordability. Just because you would like a lot more environmentally and wallet-friendly vehicle doesn't mean you want to sacrifice performance for sustainability. There might not be a V12 under the hood, but Fisker's electric vehicles are capable of power that may cause some facial rearrangement when pushed to their max, making Fisker EVs a decent contender for performance. It's difficult to mention how Fisker's EVs compare to gas-powered SUVs and other EVs because they haven't been released to the general public, but if you're searching for power and speed from your EV, Fisker has you covered. So in the end, I would say that the future of Fisker is looking bright, with the discharge of two new EVs within the coming years. While their current 2023 lineup only consists of the Fisker Ocean, 2024 and 2025 will see the discharge of the Fisker Pair, a crossover SUV with many of the features of the Ocean, and therefore the Halo sports car, the Fisker Ronin. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button and make sure you share it with your friends and family. And if you have any further questions or comments, let us know down below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. Hey, thanks for watching today. Have a great day.